Hello my friends. Well the question of the day is what's for dinner? Do you know? I know. I'm making hamburger patties and broccoli. My husband's gonna have a hamburger patty and a salad. That's what he wants. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. It's not a huge dinner. It's just a dinner. He's gonna have a potato with his. I'm not. Okay so tonight that's what we're having. What do we have? What did we have last night? Stuffed peppers. What are we having tomorrow? Soup. I've got a plan. I know what we're going to eat. And on those weeks when I have a plan, I feel so much better. And I follow whatever diet plan I'm on so much better. Okay? So consider what you need to eat as a family, what your family likes, what you like, and then start making meals from that. Ask questions. Do you guys like taco night? Okay, so you like tacos and you like tacos, but you don't like tacos, but you like taco salad. Well, you can accommodate that. You can make one into a salad and two into tacos, and maybe you want yours as a soft taco, not a hard taco. You could have that. Do you like refried beans with cheese? Can we have that on our plan? What diet are you following? You know, a diet doesn't mean a weight loss diet. It's a way of eating that you embrace. So if you embrace the standard American diet, that's fine. If you embrace paleo, that's fine. If you embrace Weight Watchers, that's fine. If you embrace um, Whole30, that's fine. If you embrace Trim Healthy Mama, that's fine. If you embrace Keto, that's fine. Whatever you choose to embrace that makes you feel good and you feel good about it, then that's the one I, I would suggest you embrace, okay? But embrace an eating plan. So if it's a standard American eating plan, then you can have anything you want, right? So maybe you tonight you want a hamburger and a bun, and you want some lettuce, tomato, and onion on it, and you want to make some oven fried french fries. That's fine. At least you have a plan and food to eat. It's so much better than everyone just snacking in the evening, or snacking in the morning, or snacking at lunchtime, just on whatever they can find. I know that you're not totally leaving your children in the lurch. You have foods to fix them. You're just not fixing them. So let's go to that freezer and take an inventory. Look in there. What do you have? You've got some ground round in there. You've got some lean pork chops in there. You've got some fish in there, some shrimp. What do you have in there? Let's make some meals. What do you have on your shelf? Do you have some pasta, rice? quinoa, barley, what do you have? What do you have on your shelves? Do you have some pinto beans or black beans or refried beans or, or um, soups or cream soups? What do you have that you can put together to make a meal? There's even websites where you can put those things down and it'll tell you what you can make out of it. There's, it's, it's not as hard as you think, but generally you can make a very simple meal by having a protein, by having a starch, by having a carbo, uh, a starch is a carbohydrate, and by having a, um, a, a neutral vegetable, something that doesn't have the starch, like broccoli or cabbage or something like that. So you can make a meal very simply. So let's go now and look. Let's go and look. So stop this video, run into your kitchen, open the refrigerator, and see what's left over. And when you're done with that, open the freezer and see what's in there. Open the pantry and see what's in there. Come back. Okay, you looked. What did you find? Were you surprised? Did you have a pizza in there or some pizza dough? Did you have some chicken or some steak or some hamburger or some fish? <clears throat> did you have some leftover rice in the refrigerator? Did you have some eggs? Did you have some ham, some bacon? Are you gonna make pancakes and eggs for dinner? It doesn't matter. Decide now what you're gonna make for dinner. If dinner's already passed today, what are you gonna to make tomorrow? And start making a list of foods that you're gonna serve your family. I currently am embracing Trim Healthy Mama. I'm not gonna give any recipes for that. I'm not gonna tell you anything about that. It's just something that I feel is a healthy way for me to eat. You can pick whatever you choose, but pick something, okay? Pick something. And if you need to lose weight, then you know you have to follow a different plan than your children who need to maintain or even gain weight or at least have energy to grow. Um, so use your brain and figure out what everybody needs to eat. 
you know, a satisfied person who eats enough protein at their meals isn't going to want to snack like a person who didn't have enough protein at their meal and or didn't have enough to eat. And so when dinner is over, they're still chasing chasing that feeling of being satiated. They're not satiated. That's the way I was after dinner until I started eating a lot of protein at dinner time. Now I don't eat after dinner. You know, maybe that's the issue. Um, sometimes we're chasing a taste. Maybe you really want some chocolate and you're saying, I'm not going to eat chocolate. I'm never eating chocolate. Chocolate is bad for me. And you just never get any chocolate. But instead you eat everything on the shelf trying to chase that taste. So I'm not trying, this is not about a diet here. I'm talking about just what are you having for dinner? Make sure you go and you look and you figure out what you can have. Okay. Figure out what you can have for dinner. Use as many fresh foods as you can or frozen foods. Frozen foods are frozen at their peak of freshness. There's nothing wrong with those. You don't have to be a purist and say, I'm going to eat all organic. And if that's what you choose to do, that's fine. But if you don't, that's okay too. Just pick the healthiest foods that you can afford for your family. Make your menu, make your budget, stick to your budget, buy the foods, serve the foods. If you want to waste money, plan a menu, buy the groceries, and never fix it. That is a huge waste of money. So instead, I encourage you to go look and see what you have in your freezer right now. What can you fix for your family right now? If you don't know how to cook, get a cookbook online. You can go find recipes. You don't have to have a physical cookbook. But I enjoy perusing a cookbook. I think it's fun, but you might not. That's okay. Just type in what you think you'd like to make. Meatloaf. And you can find loads of different recipes for meatloaf. Okay, a standard recipe for meatloaf is ground beef, eggs. Uh, I use oatmeal. Some people use breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs. You can use, instead of those things, you can crush up some um, uh, pork rinds and put in it. Um, bell pepper, onion, tomato sauce, little Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. Squish it all together, bake it in the oven until it's just beautiful and crusty and lovely. And then you can serve that for dinner with some mashed potatoes or some mashed cauliflower, something green, some green beans, some broccoli, a salad. That is a wonderful, simple dinner. And what's left over, you can make sandwiches out of or have left over for lunch to take to work the next day. So start making meals with the stuff you have, the food you have. Food is too expensive to waste. Make a plan. Now, if you plan for seven days, there's going to be weeks where you only eat five. Because one day you're going to be tired. Nobody wants what you were going to make. It's the last thing that, you know, it's just the last thing you want to do. You're hot, whatever. And so instead, everybody has grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup for dinner or peanut butter and jelly or whatever, a salad. So that food gets held over. And then on another night, maybe you want to go out and eat. And there's nothing wrong with going out to eat occasionally if it's mindful, if you planned it, it's in your budget. And then, or even if you haven't planned it, if it's in your budget and you know you're probably going to go out to eat so you have a budget for that, maybe you take the family out to eat. And so you've got two meals left over. But guess what? Next week you only have to come up with five because you put those two in, put them in the rotation, and serve them the next week. Okay? So what's for dinner is really important. Number two thing I want to talk to you about is your children who won't eat may not be hungry. The one reason they may not be hungry is because they've had snacks right up to the time it's dinner time. If they're not hungry, they're not going to eat. Little kids don't, you could give little kids cookies. I could eat cookies till they come out of my ears. You could give kids cookies, they eat a half a cookie, they're done, they're full, they're through, they're finished. They don't, they don't eat like grown-ups do. They haven't learned how to, to list, stop listening to their body. So a little kid will fill up on snacks and then they come to the dinner table and they won't eat. Or they could be going through a little spell. Little two-year-olds go through a spell where they just are picky eaters. They don't want to eat right now, and that's okay. Keep presenting the food. Remember that everyone, including your children's stomach, is the size of your balled up fist when it's not stretched out. So a little kid's stomach is really tiny. So if you get a little food in there, that'll be fine, okay? All right, remember to serve their favorites and always serve. If your kids are picky, like about vegetables, serve two vegetables and let them choose which one they want to eat. Maybe they don't like one as bad as they, they like one worse than they don't like one worse than they like, don't like the other, they'll eat the other. Let them have a spoonful of something. Um, 
but I'll tell you what, if you want your kids to think you're a great cook, don't allow them to have snacks about three hours before dinner. Snacks need to be cut off. Okay. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful supper time together. I hope that you clear the table and sit at the table. And I hope that you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.